Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. This past weekend, just a regular Saturday afternoon, out for a boat ride, and all of a sudden the engine starts bogging down and shaking. We pop the cap off and find that one of the spark plugs blew completely out of the cylinder. What's that mean? That means the internal thread of the cylinder is completely ruined and no longer capable of holding that spark plug in place. Now we gotta fix it. Pretty friendly DIY project. Let's get started. At the back of the boat now, and the 25 horsepower Mercury outboard two-stroke engine is what we are going to be working on today. Step number one, safety purposes. Disconnect the negative terminal to your battery. Cut all electrical power to the system. And we already completed that step prior to putting on our cover. Down on the bottom side of the rear portion of the engine, you have this locking lever. Pull that down and you can shift this entire cap up and off. On the front end, it is hooked on. So as you shift it up, push forward, pull this whole thing off. The top cover is now removed and here it is. You've got the lower cylinder. Spark plug is still firmly secured and this top blew completely out of the actual hole. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you can really make view of it, but that internal thread is completely ruined and no longer able to hold this plug in place. A few things we will do. We are lucky it's still in the actual plug portion of the wire. We'll shift that aside. This little hose right here, just carefully pull that off. And I'm going to shift that to a side. And I'll also remove this old plug from the actual boot. All right, making progress. Got that hose shifted to the side. I removed the lower boot from the plug and shifted it up and it's hanging up top and i removed the plug from this boot and i've got this boot positioned now we have much better access to this area where we will be working on shifting our attention over here this is the actual oem tool repair kit for spark plug repair systems so what i'll do now is open it up at this point i've got the parts removed this is the tap this is a tool we will use further in the project and then you have the actual coil that you're going to insert and secure. And inside this little booklet are your step-by-step -step instructions. So you can follow along with that as we go through it. So what we'll do first, we have different size inserts, as you can see. And you want to match the actual depth of your spark plug thread to the insert. And that is the insert you will use. For example, you can see the comparison, very similar in depth. So we will not use the longer one or the shorter one. From here, I want to go back to the actual engine and I want to carefully clean out any grime or shavings inside this little hole here. And just be careful because again, you don't want the shavings getting into your skin and you don't want the shavings falling inside the cylinder. So just kind of clean it up a little bit. All right, YouTubers, the next thing we have our brand new marine ngk plugs and with the actual insert make sure that the thread of your new plug matches the thread of the insert and it should screw on all the way by hand as you can see here then unscrew it and once you verify that it's on to the next step next step we are going to insert the tap we have a three quarters socket and extension and it should go right in here. And once we do that, we are going to lubricate this actual thread on the tap. And you do that for two reasons. Number one, to allow this tap to re-thread the inner portion of the cylinder easily, as well as allow all the shavings that come off the cylinder to stick to the actual grease or oil that you use. And I'm not using anything fancy, just a regular grease gun. And I'm just going to carefully release some grease, as you can see here and just coat the thread of the tap. Once you get this lubricated and greased up, now it's time to head to the cylinder. All right, the next step is extremely important. Again, I've got the tap properly greased, and when you insert the tap inside that hole, make sure it goes in perfectly straight. And you're going to insert it and begin turning it by hand first until it grabs. And once it grabs, you will grab your ratchet and slowly continue to twist it in. Do this very slow.
and again you may see shavings and once you get it all the way in to the stopping point you will slowly begin unscrewing it and you want to unscrew it just as carefully as inserting it to allow all those shavings to stay in that grease And look at all those shavings. Back at the actual cylinder, I just want to show you the new thread. Next step, we want to direct our attention to the actual insert, and I want to focus in on the actual design of the insert. You will notice some teeth at the top portion and then just regular thread on the bottom portion. That top portion is called knurled, and you want to make sure when you insert this and secure it, that knurled portion is on the top portion of the hole from here. We need to use our red high temp RTV silicone gasket maker and coat the thread prior to inserting it in the hole. One last step prior to actually inserting the insert. If you see any additional shavings, just get those out of there. You don't wanna fall them back into the actual cylinder. What I've done is continue to actually insert the thread and as you can see, that is a lot of shavings coming out and we will continue threading this tap through the hole. All right, YouTubers, it is through and just as carefully as you tighten it in, you will loosen it back out and all those shavings as you can see will come out and or stay with that grease those are all the shavings you do not want inside your cylinder all right back at the thread got it cleaned up for the most part and that's what the new thread looks like Alright YouTubers, again the knurled portion of the insert as you can see here, that has to go on the top or exterior portion. Go ahead and hand screw in your plug and from here we will begin adding the RTV sealant to the actual thread of the insert. Do your best not to get any of this RTV sealant on your plug because if you do that you're going to file out your plug and you're going to experience the same issues you were having with no plug so again just work that sealant into the thread if you need a little more grab a little more after coating the thread with that gasket maker or sealant we are going to Insert it by hand and hand tighten it in. Get a good feel for that thread. Do not cross thread it. And it is going in very easily and friendly. And from here, again, if it's not going in as smooth as this is, you have to re-thread it. Now it's kind of snug and we will grab our socket and ratchet and continue screwing it in until it is flush and you want the knurled portion flush with the face of the cylinder hole and that looks really good from here we are going to carefully remove the plug All right, the next step is this part. It has a tapered tip, and we are going to insert this into the actual hole, and we are going to hammer it in place. The reason why we are going to hammer it in place is to give that knurled section a chance to bite into the internal portion of the hole and thread, so it never comes out. 
After that, we have to allow 24 hours to pass by before starting this engine, and that is going to give that gasket maker and high temp sealant time to properly cure. This is under extreme pressure and you don't want any leaks, so allow that gasket maker to cure and dry. After hitting that in place, Again, that knurled section tip is now engraved in the actual inner portion of the hole. And that's going to allow that insert to always stay inside that hole when you pull the plugs in and out. Now, I properly gapped the new plug, 0 0.40. I'm going to hand tighten it. Don't cross thread it. And secure this. I'll put the boot back on. And the lower boot and that hose from here I'll put the cap back on secure it we have to wait 24 hours as I just mentioned I'll see you in 24 hours all right youtubers we are back it's been 24 hours all the overcast skies have moved away nothing but blue clear skies and we're gonna take the cover off and Reconnect the negative terminal to the battery and test the engine. Negative cable resecured to the battery. All right, we're to the back of the engine, got the cover off, and we are going to start the engine and test the engine. Co starring is my dad, LT. He's going to start the engine. And basically, you want to verify that the engine is no longer running the way it was with that blown out spark plug. From here, we can tell a significant difference in engine performance. What we'll do is let it run for about five to 10 minutes at idle, and then we'll disconnect from the dock and take it for a test drive out on the actual lake. All right, YouTubers, we are back from our test run. It all went well. From here, just take the cover off, wait about 30 minutes, allow the engine to cool off, and just inspect the entire engine and the plug insert. And make sure everything is still secure and working how it is supposed to work. That's it, YouTubers. Hope the video helped. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us. That would be awesome. Thanks again for watching.